Alright, welcome on back Faithful. It is painting tutorial number one. Today we're going to be covering just doing your base coat of paint for a suit of Spartan armor or for a suit of EVA foam armor in general. Um, number one, if you've watched the previous tutorial on Plasti Dipping your armor, you'll know that Plasti Dipping not only adds strength and seals in the shape on your armor, but it also makes it so that your EVA foam is able to take paint. The Plasti Dip seals in the little pores on the armor that we need to be full, otherwise this paint will soak right into the foam and will look blotchy and won't look good at all. Um, so anyway, uh, as you can see here, these are the um, Plasti Dip pieces here, you can see that they're much blacker than they were before. Um, this here is an unfinished piece here, and you can tell the difference inside the texture there. You can even see visibly this is not sealed whatsoever. Um, when it comes down to paint that you're going to use for your suits of armor, personally, I go with a Krylon paint because Krylon is a lacquer based paint, and it bites into the surface of whatever you're painting a bit more. It also dries very quickly, so I'd be able to come out here and get two coats of paint on this thing easily in a day. Um, I can touch my surfaces typically within 35 minutes of the first coat. That's why I like Krylon. Now Rust-Oleum is also another great um, paint if you're looking to um, do any kind of spray painting. However, Rust-Oleum is oil-based, so it takes considerably longer to dry. Um, it could take days to fully set, especially if you end up using a Rust-Oleum enamel paint. That could take three to four days to fully set, and even then you may leave fingerprints in whatever it is you're touching, especially if it's like a weapon or like a, a bicep piece that you're going to be making a lot of contact with, it can leave marks really easily. Um, also, Rust-Oleum, um, being that it is, is oil-based, it cleans up pretty easily with mineral spirits, so that's a plus on there. However, you're going to have to wait longer for drying time, and when you're working with armor, um, and you're kind of like me right now, where time is of the essence, um, Krylon is always my first choice. Also, the spray nozzle on a Krylon can, you can see the way that is shaped right there. It's kind of a vertical um, little wedge shape. It sprays in a solid, almost like a blade of paint like this. So the coverage is a lot better. Whereas on a can, like a rust can, it looks more like this with a center, um, like a center spray. So it's going to come out in kind of like a circular motion. So this does cover quite a bit better. Um, now I'm using uh, a Italian olive because I am doing Master Chief's standard um, green for the suit of armor. I'm using a satin finish because it looks better just for the military colors of green. Um, I will be coming back later on with a clear coat um, satin finish as well, just to seal and protect everything in for the final um, for the final go through. Anyway, um, before you start painting this here, I'll tell you number one: have yourself some gloves because you'll you're wanting to hold. The piece, but the part that's not going to make the most, that you're not going to have to worry about getting paint on, like at the bottom of the shoe here, if I was doing the leg here, I would probably hold from about this bottom area here, I would paint the entire thing, save for the bottom here, get both coats on that upper area, once that's fully dry, probably the next day, come back over and get the parts that I wasn't able to get before. Um, again, I do about two coats of this kind of paint on here. Um, you'll also want a respirator. If you're painting indoors like I am right now, a respirator is what you're going to want to have. This is a 3M respirator, and it has chemical cans. I'll show you here. These are chemical filter cans on there. You can pick this up at any hardware store. I believe Walmart also carries these inside their paint department. Get yourself a respirator. If you're painting outdoors, um, you probably just get away with a little dust mask. Maybe not even need a mask whatsoever, but I'm painting indoors right now because it is raining outside. so. Make sure and save your lungs, get yourself a respirator. Um, when I hit, pick this up here, you probably won't be able to hear me too well through the mask. I'm going to make sweeping motions at first. Um, I'm not going to go too crazy heavy because I don't want the paint to pool on this here. So I'm going to do sweeping motions over the first thing, see how strong the paint is coming out, and then I may go through with some full-on uh, contact with the paint, probably keeping it about 6 to 8 inches away.
through every single piece here, give it the same exact treatment as that. And you see, that's just the first coat. So we do have some little black spots from the, um, the Plasti Dip still kind of peeking through. There are some little corner edges and some little divoted areas that aren't quite fully covered, but that's why we do multiple coats. As I said, I'm going to do two coats on this. If you feel like doing three, by all means do three. But the key is, build it up in light layers first. Krylon paint won't pull as bad as um, Rust-Oleum. Rust-Oleum, if I was hitting it that close, I would see a lot of drips rolling down the side, so that's something to keep in mind. Krylon just disperses better when you're spraying on EVA foam. But again, building it up in small layers first, and then if you have to, get a little full-on paint action on there. But anyway, guys, that is our first paint tutorial. The next one that I'm going to be coming back and doing, I'm going to also be using a Krylon paint. However, because I want to get some weathering on this uh, piece here, I'm going to be using a lighter shade that I'll be spraying directly onto a brush and buffing in the areas on the suit that would be making the most contact with um, just objects around it to kind of give it a worn in look. So anyway guys, there's our, uh, <laughs> there's I guess our right shoe right there. We still have the rest of the suit to do, so next time you check in, I should have this whole thing coated in green. Until next time guys, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. I'm Angel Legend, a.k.a. Eric Rollon. We'll see you next time. Take care.